Hi Virgo, welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. Today is Sunday, May 26th, 2024. We have a third quarter moon energy in Capricorn today and tomorrow. We're gonna do a start the week general but focus energy reading for you. I hope you'll stay for the whole reading. I will pull some oracles to see some energy around your week. And we will start this reading out with the Everyday Witch Tarot. So here we go. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What is uh, the energy focus for Virgo for the week ahead? Messages for the Virgo, please. Virgo. First card is uh, the energy of uh, feeling left out, not getting the attention you'd like to get. Second is uh, it could be around a relationship that's new or semi-new. Uh, third is it could be connected around, um, this is a separate circumstance, so let's continue. Uh, the energy of your family and people who support you. The energy of a Pisces is at the center. The energy of you are showing up as the matriarch, Virgo, in position six. I feel like, Virgo, you're connecting with something you're trying to figure out. Uh, you may not be sure about something. You may be learning some new skill set, or you may just be trying to figure something out, get information around something or someone. Finding balance, uh, waiting on news. The energy of a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And in front of you is a faded relationship. <clears throat> so Virgo, if you are in a faded relationship or have met someone or you're looking for relationships, guess what? In front of you on your soul's path and journey, there is and will be faded relationships. Good energy around your job, your work, whatever it is you do. People see you and say, wow, now Virgo really knows what they're doing. All right, let's throw some other cards. And I would also say to you that if you're in a faded relationship right now and you've been in one, it's semi-new but not 100 years old. There could be things that are missing from that relationship. You may be focused in on that right now. You may be thinking about it with this first card out. This is a card of manifesting. It's a message about focusing in on your money and your material well-being. Messages for the Virgo. Messages for the Virgo, please. Messages for the Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Messages for the Virgo, please. There is a change around feeling like you're not getting the attention you would like. There's a, some of you have a, a Libra connected to you in some way that's on your mind, and they may be a personal relationship or someone else, and they may be going through something that they haven't experienced before. You may be uh, connecting with them around that. Here's the energy of you showing up as the high priestess. You may be helping a Libra or someone that's an air sign uh, with something that they're trying to figure out. You may be in a relationship with an air sign Libra. Um, what else? Do you have worry? So some of you are at home and you're thinking, thinking, thinking when you're at home and you should be resting, resting, resting. You're not. You're thinking, thinking, thinking. That will do you no good. The energy of the uh, Knight of Cups, an offer. The energy of the Page of Swords going back and forth. Let's see what else we have. The Ace of Pentacles. Disappointment around a relationship with the fire sign. Some of you Virgos have baggage or old relationships that you still think about with a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And there are emotional choices and decisions that you have right now, Virgo, around any current relationships that you are in. You have things that you're trying to figure out. Uh, they could be around the energy of another earth sign, a Pisces, uh, a Cancer, a Libra, a 
another Virgo. Uh, actually, this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So if you have a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, a Cancer, a uh, Pisces, a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, they're here. However, if you have a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the relationship um, did not end well or it's not going well. That will not change. Okay, so now Virgo, ask a question about whatever I, uh, the cards here that connect with you. Ask a question. And I'm gonna pull a card, I'm gonna squeeze this deck and ask it to cooperate with the Virgos, please. Make it a yes or no question if you can, but it doesn't have to be. We're gonna ask for an answer for the Virgos. What, what do you wanna say to Virgo, Spirit? Is that more? Okay, that's all right. Those two cards, you got two answers. What do you want to say to Virgo Spirit? We're going to start with the first one. Yes. And no. <laughs> okay, so all of this deck. Okay, so we're going to do a tiebreaker. What do you want to say to Virgo Spirit? Cooperate. Thank you. All right. Sleep on it. <laughs> I love this deck. It's giving my guides fits. Okay, so yes or no and sleep on it. Oh, so I can't help it. I have to force the issue. Give me a solid yes or no. Okay, thank you. We got a big no. All right, we got a solid answer from the my guides. The, my guides are cooperating just fine. It's this deck that's fighting me, but that's okay. I, I can I can fight right back. Listen, Blue Hill Tarot here. I hope you'll comment. Let me know what you think about this reading. I hope you'll like and subscribe. And I really enjoy speaking to the Virgo matriarchs. And thank you so much for stopping here. Take care.